<gasps> hey, you've caught me flicking through today's review. Welcome to Comics Etc. Issue 10. Wow. Pepsi sponsorship, huh? Plus, huh? plus. Mmm, huh? not drinking from the hole. How's everybody today? Uh, for uh, another episode of Golden Years. G g oh, is it? Well, it kind of is, because yeah. they're classics. Uh, well, well yeah. one of them well, is. Well, yeah. Uh, how's everybody going? You can't respond, so I don't know why I asked that. Again, they can in the comments. They you can just have to check it's just delayed. like, subscribe, comment. Um, Jeez. Milk chat, just quickly, before we get started. Nothing's happened in the last 24 hours worth of note. Um, anything with you? You never respond. What do you do? I have oat milk every day, so there's nothing no, exciting. in general. Read. Cool. Fascinating. Uh, I tried coconut milk. Oh, and that's worth noting, is it? Well, okay. It was the most Jeez. disgusting thing I've ever put in my mouth. Ever. Hey. Um, it was revolting. Um, so I didn't mind it for the first sip, and then I was talking to my barista, and my barista said to me, uh... Yeah, I don't really like it. It reminds me of a curry. And suddenly, all I could taste was curry. Which, you don't want that for breakfast. And because the coconut milk is oily, that taste stuck in my mouth. I still, I can still taste it. And I had it, what, like six hours ago? Still milk? Oh, it's just... Oh, grow up. And it's just revolting. I will never, ever have coconut milk with a coffee ever again. And I love coconut, so that's coconut chat. Um, I don't. That's enough of that. Like, don't like coconut in general? Yeah, not really. really. Nah, I find it annoying. Except, mind you, the only time I enjoy it is when you actually can break one and eat the, like, actual, you know, raw. So manly. No, that it's time, just cool. That time when you were stuck in a stuck tropical on an island. island. Yep. I've eaten a proper yeah. one. Green Arrow here. Yeah, I took to Lemire's hey, book. How's it going? Yeah. Uh, so, in this episode of... G -G 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 That's... God, I hate it. Um, is... Ugh, please press the right button. Please press the right button. Hey! Now this, I feel bad that I haven't read this before because it's one of those ones I get asked for all the time. Yeah. And look, I'm going to go out there and say that I thought Hush was my favourite Batman book. This one. Yeah. Written this. by the same person. Yeah. Didn't... That's good. That's um, for them. That's for them. Not necessarily you. Yeah, I know. It, it's fine. That yeah. So this is it's almost the trilogy, I guess you can say, because yeah, it's yeah. Long Halloween, Dark Victory, and Haunted Night. No. Okay. Yeah. Which so is the first I one. haven't read. I believe it's this, no, but you're I wrong. could be wrong. Ooh. Haunted Night was the it is series Night. of one shots okay. that they did. The creative team. Um, you can tell that there were some of the earlier works they ever did because they're very um. They, they're okay, but not they're polished? definitely not polished. That's the word. Yeah, I know. I was looking for. Um. Well, look, should we? Should I get right into this? Yeah, what's it about? Get stuck. It? Oh. So, oh, I didn't what? press record. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I wasn't. <laughs> now you just swore. We'll keep that in. <laughs> that was worth it. Um... So, that's you, idiot. Um, well done. Hats off. Okay, so, long Halloween to sum it up is... Are you going to be able to do this show? <laughs> yeah, 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 go. Go. <laughs> Is if you cross Sopranos uh, with Batman. Ooh. Like, legit. Yeah. Because it starts off where they're at a, um event that is for the... So there's two crews of Mafia in Gotham that are running the town. And they are... I, they're friends to begin with. I think it's taken a while to get to that. Oh, yeah? So okay. they're not fighting at the moment. And Batman is, well, Bruce Wayne, sorry, is invited to a celebration for, I believe, some of the members are getting married from the yes, family. Yes, yep, that's yep. Right. And it all starts off fine, but Harvey Dent is, oh, ha he's, yeah, yeah. are you going? Harvey Dent has had, sure. yeah, it's fine, I'll keep talking. Harvey Dent has had enough of these Mafia Dons getting away with everything. Yeah. And it's been years. He's gone, he's gone. Yeah, they've been, have already done that one. Um, he's, they've been running Gotham for too long and Harvey's had enough and he gets Commissioner Gordon and says, this has got to stop and they want to get Batman on board. But there's a twist because Batman's father actually you'll find out later on actually helped one of the leaders of one of the crews and actually brought him to, like he was going to die yeah and he saved him and that's why 
they were there was no bad blood between them. Yep. And Batman wants to keep that going. And then suddenly some of the members of only one of the gang start dying oh. and they get killed. And it's really this book They're dying and get killed. Yeah. Whoa. So what's really good about this book is that that's irritating. That they keep they keep the suspense going throughout the whole story of who is killing these people. Tuck your manners in. Yeah. And the whole time you think you know who it is Mm -hmm. and it just keeps leading you in and the other thing that's amazing with this story is that every month there is a different villain for an event of that month so hence the name long halloween long halloween so there's for example poison ivy is st patrick's day so green they linked it april fools is riddler but they're not always doing bad so joker for example does do bad but he gets caught fairly early on and gets put in Arkham Asylum whereas Riddler is actually hired just quickly that's a really good rendition of He's super I like the lanky s- yeah well that's Joker kind of... yeah, I know Tim Sale's the artwork by the way it's very it's almost like um, Nightmare Before Christmas Tim Burton Have crossed with yep um, crossed with almost Mike Mignola work like it's yeah, yeah. so before I was rudely interrupted as usual um The cool thing is, one of the... So, because one of the sides of the Mafia is getting killed, the other one obviously suspects that it's him. But then they actually get the Riddler to try and help them figure out who it is. Yep. But, that yeah, I thought that was cool because I was expecting the Riddler to do something bad, as in... Because Poison Ivy does something bad. Yeah. She actually overtakes Bruce Wayne and he ends up giving all, like, a massive amount of money to one of the crews... And, yeah, everyone, like, um, Harvey Dent's like, what are you doing? Are you going crazy? We need to take Bruce Wayne down. Yep. He still doesn't know. They're so dumb. They don't know that <laughs> Batman is Bruce Wayne. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, it's yeah. It's 2020, guys. Of course it's Bruce Wayne. From start to finish, this is very good. Look at that artwork by Tim Sale. It's just... But all of it's so cool. Like I said, it's almost like... That. So, whenever there's someone that getting... Valentine's Day. Yeah, listen. Whenever someone's getting killed, they do it in black and white. Oh, really? See, I didn't yeah. know that. So if you I've read it, I didn't know you it. didn't scroll the next you didn't I don't have know a what panel. I have there. Well that's where someone's getting killed. And see whatever whenever someone gets killed, they leave certain artifacts at the scene whoever's uh, doing right. it. And there's a pretty big twist at the end and I won't spoil it. I mean although um, you should have read this by now. This reminds me of always Sunny and Philly. Yeah, I know, but that's because of the pub. Um yeah. but yeah, like this was obviously St. Patrick's Day, and it go they go so far that whoever's doing this ends up killing, like, a whole crew. Yeah. And, yeah, it just gets more and more intense, and it's driving them insane because they don't know who's doing it. Yep. It's really... I, I, I love this book as well. Yeah, there's three in it. Dark Victory, I didn't like. Um, I haven't... I'm, going, I'm planning to read the other two. See, I think Long Halloween is one of, like, the top three Batman comics out there. I love it. Um, but I found Dark Victory was almost the exact same comic... Just like, same concept. Exact. No, I mean, it's the same story. Okay. I felt like I was reading the exact same thing. Well, comic. I guess their thinking was more is good. Yeah. But the... This is standalone, by the way. We're yeah, saying yeah, yeah. it's a trilogy. They're, they're completely... This one's not connected to anything. Actually, Dark Victory is. This one isn't. So you can read this one and not worry about anything else. So, yeah, there's a whole host of characters. So there's Catwoman, um, Solomon Grundy. I love Solomon Grundy. Born on he's, yeah, he's annoying. Why does he just keep repeating that? Uh, well, he's... I don't know why, but he's based on the fairy tale. Not the fairy tale. Oh, the nursery rhyme. and that's right. Harvey Dent pretty much turns into Two-Face Yeah. by the end of this. So there's a lot of cool things. So in other words, it takes place very early on in Batman's yeah. career. So this is basically... Actually, if I remember correctly, it comes just after year one. Okay. So I think, like, not officially, but it, it takes place around there. Storyline-wise. Yeah. But yeah, that's what's cool, is that it's really layered, and there's a lot of stories going on at the same time, but they all come together at the end, and it makes sense. Yeah. And, yeah, if so I... So what would you give it? If I had to give it... Wait, out of what? Holidays. Holidays? No, not out of holidays. Yeah, like, or, um... Mistletoe. No, because... What? <laughs> Hello, Jack-o'-lands. That's good, all right. I'm giving it five. Whoa! It gets really? Five, five out, out of five. five. That's that. Nice. The start to finish. I read it like you, crazy. Read it in one sitting. Couldn't put it down. Yeah, I'll give it four and a half. 
Because I, I yeah, I just wanted to keep going, and then I got to the end and was like, that was really good. And there's there's different Batman stories you can have. The majority of Batman stories, surprisingly, are just superhero comics. Very few of them are detective comics. Like yeah, and this, this one, is actually him being a detective. It's but surprisingly then it's, rare. It's got like a lot of mafia yeah parts in yeah. it too. Like you the you see a lot of the family and how they yeah. interact and. How some of them even cross over, like cross over the each other. Like one of mm-hmm. the sisters is actually dating yeah. the leader of I'm another sure crew, happens. and so yeah, no, I loved it too. Four and a half. Um, if you want some classic stories, this is also uh, recommended for people who like anything by Brubaker or any of the crime noir stuff that Image does. Yeah, but Highly it's recommended. it's just I don't know. It's like a different level. Oh, and Calendar Man's in it. Calendar Man, yeah. And yeah, he you know what? Batman think... thinks. He goes. To, it's almost like Silence of the Lambs, where Batman goes yeah. to him for help. Yeah, so, it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, I actually think this is a really good bridging comic from people who read Image to go over to DC, and people who will read DC to go over to Image. Oh yeah, without like, if you had given me this as my first Batman, it would have been easy for me to go. Oh yeah, I can see why yeah. people like it. So, so next one. one is uh, James. Okay, so my choice. comic. So this is a fun story behind this one. This isn't a classic. Fun story behind it. But just six minutes. Uh, hang on a second. D- Yay! All right, so don't tune out. So a bit of a story behind this one too. Uh, oh no, I've got to hold it. I forgot. I forgot what I'm doing, you guys. Um, so we've had this book, Hobo Mum, around the store for a very long time. I originally got it in because I'm a huge fan of Chris Ware, and this is Fanta Graphics. I'm pretty sure it is. Our Fanta. Books, Fanta. We want Fanta Pepsi graphics. sponsorship. Don't sponsorship. mention that. Um. So, we were fighting over who got to read it in a bad way. Like, we're all like, I don't want to read it, I don't want to read it. So... Look, I'll admit the art didn't speak to me, so I, I didn't want to read it. I love the art, that's what kind of got me into it. Um, so, I read it, and um, I'm just going to spoil, I'm giving it 5 out of 5. Compared to Long Halloween, which you gave 4.5? Yeah, I am. You're a liar. This book... <laughs> I've, I've never really understood trigger warnings and all this, that kind of stuff, but and this is one book where I, after it I went, wow, that's a really powerful book. So, the basic story, first of all, it's black and white. That's Hobo Mum. She, her name is, I can't even remember. Yeah, yeah, five out of five. Five out of five, I can't even remember what her name is. <laughs> so, we start off the book, we find out that she's riding the rails in America and she's been jumping on train to train to train. She is all alone and she eventually realises... She eventually comes to this new town where she meets up with uh, a girl and a man. There we go. She's running to this house there where she meets up with a girl. And we find out that the girl is actually her daughter. And Hobo Mum actually had run off from her family at a very young age. And... uh, The little girl was raised by her father all alone. The father feels very betrayed and hurt she just rocks up turns out that she just left because she couldn't deal with being a mother so she comes back he doesn't want her around he says all right you can stay for like 24 hours that's all she wants she just wants to see what her daughter's like she ends up getting a taste for the life that she missed out on and she decides to stay and it's the story of everyone kind of getting to know each other again and I'm not going to spoil it for you, but the ending's pretty heartbreaking. Uh, it's a very powerful book, very short. It comes in a really nice hardcover. Um, if anyone's ever dealt with loss or divorce or a parent moving on or anything like that, this will definitely pull up the heartstrings. I loved it. And I know everyone around here was going, I'm so glad that I'm the one that had to read it. The artwork is really good. It's a really fast-paced graphic novel, um, and I can't recommend this enough. So, honestly, this is this is for everyone. There is some nudity in it. Um, there's no swearing, unlike this episode. There's no swearing. There is nudity, though. But, look, I think this kid, this book could be given to teenagers, as long as you're okay with a bit of nudity, because, honestly, it's just nudity. Who cares? We've all seen each other nude. Uh, so, what? Huh? Comics etc. away. Um, so, honestly, I think everyone should give it a read. So, 5 out of 5, easily. Um, 
that's that's our golden years for today. And we apologise for the sound that is almost like Edward Furlong in Terminator 2 on the motorbike because someone is just soaring or so something. So I'm going to let you guys in on a little thing that sucks about Brisbane. Work never stops. Yep. They're always building something new, and especially around this building, it's driving us nuts. So just after we finally got the bang from the place next door done, the NBN got done, now they're doing something in the old police station behind us, and it's been going on for days, and I have a feeling by looking out the window that it's going to go on for months. Great. So annoying. So, sorry about the sound, um, but what can we do? Are you going to get rid of that picture there, or...? Hobo Mum, buy it, 25 bucks. Put the link in there, downstairs in the downstairs. Downstairs? Downstairs. Uh, subscribe, like, all that kind of junk, and we'll be Do we be back. have to do a, a PG warning before this show? No, yeah, when you put it up, it actually asks if they're swearing or anything. Oh, well, guess what? So we qualify. Yes. So, that apologies. That was issue 10. <laughs> it was worth the it. The controversial though. issue. It was worth it. I oh hope. my god, that oh. was... You idiot. <laughs> All right, bye everyone. We'll um, might do another Golden Years because we got no books. So see you next episode for episode number eleven. I won't do that. Why? Other way. Peace. 11? No. What? Like that. Oh. Bye everyone. Ah, wait. <laughs>